Hello tech people! In this video, we are going to see how to make this beautiful hardware monitor for your PC. Let's get started. We will be using this ESP8266 microcontroller as the heart of this project. The display is a MAX7219 controlled LED matrix. I have made the box from black translucent acrylic sheets and some hot glue. It creates this nice effect for the display. To fix the display inside the box, I use these L brackets and some screws. All these are readily available in a hardware store for very little cost. To attach the brackets to the display, we will have to take the LED panel out of the module. We then put the screws inside the screw holes and attach the brackets. As you can see, I have put on some electrical tape on the backside to avoid contact with the ESP board after assembling everything. Quickly put the LED panels back on. Now let's connect the wires. The VCC goes to the 3 volt, the GND goes to the G, the DN goes to the D7, the CS goes to the D8, and finally, the CLK goes to the D5. Connect the board to your computer and let's get coding. The code is linked in the description. Download and open the Arduino project and upload it to your board. You will need the MD Parola and MD Max libraries. No other changes should be necessary. This code will simply display anything that we send in the serial port. After making sure that everything is working, we can put the display into the box and set it up. Or if you have a transparent CPU case, you can even put it directly inside the case. Next, we have to send the data from the computer to display. For that, we are going to be using the open source software called Open Hardware Manager. But they do not directly support sending the data to serial ports now. So we will write our own Visual Basic code for that. It is open source and can be downloaded from their website. From the downloaded files, we will need only this DLL file. If we include this in our project, we will be able to access their library. The VB code is included in the project you downloaded. You can open and build it yourself if you like. If you don't want to go through the trouble of doing this or do not have Visual Basic setup, I have built an EXE file already that is ready to use. Just use that and skip this section. If you are building it yourself, the key things that can be changed in this project are the interval in which the CPU and GPU data is shown. You can change that here, it is in milliseconds. Then you will have to set your GPU type here. Mine is an NVIDIA GPU, so I have set that. To run this application, you will need .NET Framework 4.5 or higher. So make sure you have that. Then click on Start button you will get a list of ports here. Select the port that your board is connected in and click on Connect. Simple as that, it should be working now. Keep in mind that this in nowhere near a complete or polished software. Like the brightness slider here does not work for now. If this video gets more views and requests in the comments, I will make a part two where I add brightness and more features. And also, closing the application only minimizes it to the tray. So, make sure to click on exit if you want to close the application completely. That's all folks. Take your Arduino and PC experience a step further with this DIY project. Let me know in the comments if you want part two of this project and also, a subscribe would be amazing.